great toys like this and more, head over to Big Bad Toy Store. Click the link in the description below. What's going on guys, T2RX6 here, back for another third party review, and today we're taking a look at the Fans Project X9 Positum, I believe is how you say it. Uh, this is the redeco of Crocs, their headmaster, uh, as Optimus Prime, obviously. And I picked this guy up at TFCon 2015 in Charlotte, and uh, it's actually for my friend Jason over at the Open Your Toys podcast. And uh, he was super nice and let me actually take a look at it and told me I could review it if I want. So here he is. And I've got to say, right out of the box, this guy is pretty cool looking. I mean, it's very vibrant. It's very much Optimus Prime. Uh, yeah, it really looks good. Uh, I have no real complaints about it. Uh, I saw this little piece on the back and you have a little flip out bit on the sword so you can actually hang it off his back. I think this guy looks pretty awesome. Now he does go ahead and reuse the chrome dome head here, uh, which I think is a little bit of a cop out. I would have liked to have seen uh, Fans Project go ahead and do a uh, much more Optimus Prime head, but it serves its purpose. I would be interested to see what that, uh, <clears throat> I forget what it is, Iron Forge or something like that. Uh, Optimus Prime head looks like on here, but unfortunately it is uh, locked away in some boxes right now and uh, I can't really get it out easily. So let's pull his sword off his back here. Uh, I wasn't really expecting to like this guy too much just because I've seen some negative things said about Crocs and uh, I think he's okay. Um, I know some people have trouble getting him to stand up. I find the solution for that is to just rotate his feet on down and instead of having the uh, alligator feet all the way in, just fold them out like heel spurs and you know there's pretty much no position that I can't get him to uh, support himself in uh, with the alligator feet so that's okay. Uh, articulation on this guy he has that Fans Project Headmaster joint where you get the rotation here and then you get the swivel of the joint for up and down but it does end up looking a bit ridiculous on the figure uh, the shoulders here are on a ball joint at the top, um, which do seem limiting if you keep them down, but you can kind of make them a little bit more imposing with the transformation joint and fold them up like that, and I think that looks better personally, and you do get more range of motion out of the ball joint, full 360, no problems there. Before we go on, you can open up the shoulders here for the little like missile battery things, if that's your thing. Uh, it does feel a little bulky where that's concerned but you know it's not terrible I guess uh, you do have a bicep swivel uh, an elbow and then a forearm swivel and then nothing on the hands uh, they they move from transformation but the thumb is just uh, integrated with the toy which I'm okay with coming down to the waist you do get a little bit of a waist swivel it's a little bit blocked here by the piece that's sticking out here but it's not terrible um, the legs, uh, the legs I feel like Fans Project has struggled in, especially with their headmasters. So you don't get too much forward and back because, well, you get a lot of forward, not a lot of back, uh, unless you kind of swivel it awkwardly off that ball joint a little. Um, if you were to try to keep it straight, it does hit. Um, there is a good range of motion, uh, but the ball joints do pop off relatively easily. Uh, it's not the most solid connection I've seen, but... Yeah, it serves its purpose. And they also have, like, not really an ab crunch. It's a, a joint back here that allows this to kind of swivel like this. I can't really remember using that in uh, the alligator mode, but there it is. So, yeah. You have the thigh swivel here. You have the knee joint, which does get a nice over 90 degrees. And then you saw the foot uh, will kind of rotate. Well, the bottom of the foot rotates out. It has no, no, oh, I'm sorry. It does have a, a little bit of an ankle tilt here. So that's always nice to see. So the sword, uh, of course, has that little piece that just flips out for the sake of pegging it in. And you can take this piece and carefully pull it out here. You get a nice little, like, blade weapon here. And, of course, it just pegs right into Optimus's hand, as you would expect. Now one thing I can say is weak, you saw the ball joint on the legs pop off. Uh, this is the ball joint for the little alligator, uh, I don't know, paw, claw, I'm not sure what you would call it. But the alligator thing just kind of pops off pretty easily. And uh, I do notice that 
you know, there is a little bit of a, a weakness in the ball joints being used here that things do like to fall on their own. But overall, he does tend to support his weight good enough, and uh, in most poses I kind of put him in, uh, he seems to do mostly okay. Now this guy is not the most poseable guy, but he's not terrible either. I think he has a good amount of posability for what he is, and uh, I don't have too many complaints about it. So let's go ahead and get this guy into his alligator mode. Uh, he comes packaged in the robot mode. I'm going to start trying to do the reviews where we start with what they're packaged in and we'll go from there. I'll try to show both ways. But anyway, here he is. Uh, you take his tail, you fold that in. This is ready to go. Of course, we take the headmaster off, which always pops this joint up. And again, it is just chrome dome. So you just take this, you fold that on in. Bring this down, and we got his little headmaster. We'll go ahead and put him in his sitting position already here. And just sit him to the side over here. And we'll come to the core bot here. The transformation on this is nowhere near as annoying to me as the uh, uh, mind wipe was. So we start by opening up his chest here. Which it's really a shame with the Optimus one that they didn't like, you know, do a slight bit of remolding and give like a matrix or something in there. But they didn't, so that's just wishful thinking. So we'll take that and we'll flip this whole like piece that the head is on so the arms go up like that. And uh, we can just go ahead and close up this cavity for now. We'll need to open it up again later to put the driver in obviously. Uh, actually, no, let's leave it open. Let's finish the arms here and then we'll come back to that. So now that we have that like so, we're going to take these arm bits and swivel them so the silver side is up like this. And let's go ahead and adjust the swivels here. Swivel that around. Take this, fold this on in, and rotate the little alligator claw this way. And that's going to show us just how we have to have it lined up pretty much just like that in the alligator mode. So again, we'll do that for this side. Rotate this around. Swivel the claw and fold it in. And there we go, just like that. Now, these pieces, and it's good to rotate the elbow, these pieces are gonna fold in here. And you have to just be careful just to make sure you get them around the little, you know, glass pieces here but it's not very difficult to get them in and then they just kind of peg together in the middle and you'll see you just kind of adjust the alligator's legs to really kind of make it work while in this mode and it's pretty much going to be the alligator legs are pretty stuck in uh, one position here and that's with the the arms a little bit out to the side and the paws right there so now that we got that, now we'll go ahead and we'll close this, this little glass piece here. And we'll come to the legs. Uh, the legs are pretty easy. Uh, we're going to start by rotating out the, the little leg here. And then we'll take this and open that on up and fold it all the way around. And this one here just folds on down. I can't remember actually if I have it right or not. Um, I couldn't remember if the instructions said to have it all the way out here, but I do find it looks better that way, so that's how I would do it personally. Bring that other leg down, fold that in, all the way up. Now take this, oh, whoops, there we go, see the, the ball joints? Stiff thigh swivel and a weak ball joint, and it pops off easy. Anyway, bring them so your kneecaps are facing inward, and like you would do with most toys, uh, kind of fold this on in. It's pretty self-explanatory. Nothing about the transformation is terribly interesting. It doesn't give you one of those like ooh-ah moments that uh, some of their other headmasters did. But it's none of it is bad, you know? It just, it's there. So take these feet, or the kneecaps, and just kind of push them together like that. And take these and fold them on down like so. Cleaning up the feet as we go. And then you take the tail here and you got a little track here and a little guides here. So you just take it and you slide it right onto the tail there. And that's just how that 
securities on in just like so. And there we go. We got him in his alligator mode. Let's go ahead and drop that a little. I haven't been paying attention to the video, so I hope you guys <laughs> see it. Uh, yeah. So there we go. Alligator mode. And it's pretty good. It looks real nice. The, uh, the tail does move a bit. I have no real complaints. I think that this guy is a lot more fun than the Toy World uh, Skull Cruncher was. Uh, so, yeah, it's definitely a lot less annoying. So take this guy and we'll just go ahead and put him right on inside there. And he can close up. And it's perfect. I mean, you don't have a whole bunch of articulation on the legs or anything. But, you know, it stands there. It looks like a robotic crocodile. What more can you ask for? Well, don't worry, they got you covered here. You can open it up and you got the little, like, metal crunchers inside his jaws, which I think is just an awesome little piece of attention to detail. And I think it's actually the only, uh, well, no, there is a bunch of black pieces, but it's the only one I noticed on him uh, until just flipping him over now. But yeah, he works, and uh, I guess you have a little bit of articulation out of the back of the crocodile. The head uh, is not the most elegantly articulated. I think it looks a little bit weird, so I would just leave it just like that, and he's a crocodile. So let's just go ahead and we'll put him back to his robot mode, and I can get him shipped on out to my buddy Jason, and uh, be a little envious because I kind of wish I picked myself up one of these. Um, I don't know if I need two of them, if I need them in the Crocs colors and Optimus colors. Probably not. So anyway, we'll take his tail off. Uh, we'll go ahead and split the legs here on out all the way. Rotate these down like that. Uh, open up this little panel here. I'll go ahead and close that foot down, close that panel, whoops, there we go, once again for this leg, and I gotta say like, you know, it's, it's, it's a shame I don't feel a hands, fans project is the, uh, the top tier anymore, I really think that they've been replaced, uh, Mostly because they don't release toys very often, and as of late, there's been a lot of like hit or miss toys. But like, it still feels good to have this a fans project toy that's pretty good uh, to mess with here. So uh, I wish we had more decent fans toy stuff. To be honest, you know, I I, I think fans toys could make really good masterpieces. I sus I suppose that. Uh, if Make Toys really is Fans Toys, then they already have been, but, uh, you know, I'd like to see some under the Fans Toys uh, nameplate, I suppose. So there we go. We got that. We got that, and I realize I haven't really been talking about the transformation, but really, it's very simplistic and straightforward outside of popping off these pieces. And I don't think there is much that really needed to be explained in this case. There we go. And so he is done. We just take its little headmaster now. Pull it up. And there we go. We have Optimus back in his robot mode. And all in all, I think it's a great repaint. And uh, I am looking forward to owning my Crocs. So I think that'll be nice to have uh, this copy. But this is, I mean, it's really premium painted uh, with all the silver and stuff. I don't know if Crocs looks the same way or not. Um, I haven't really looked at them too close, but really where Optimus is concerned, it's a pretty stunning figure. So this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoy the review, and I'll see you next time.